Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Yo. 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 Hold up, man. I forgot the hood, bro. So they don't need to see the headphones. All right. Let me try this again. Hold up. Yo. <laughs> Yo. What's good, y'all? I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebel.com, you should check it out. Um, got a lot of nice things on there. All my social media is on there. All the cool stuff. Uh, websites with uh, stores from artists who create great products. They put their heart and soul into the product. You know what I'm saying? Cool shit, man. You know, trying to trying to support the people who really out here trying to change something. You know what I'm saying? Just just changing things in this world every day with their great personalities and loving emotions that people tend to just shit on. But hey, Lord Shoe X is trying to show y'all, man, the way. But I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is just speak what's on my heart. Now that we done got that shit out the way, what's good, my people? What's happening? I've been missing y'all. Cause yesterday was a fucking fail, bro. Did y'all see did y'all watch that video? For the people who did watch that video, I appreciate that because y'all could have really looked at that shit like what the fuck was that bullshit? On me, that shit was horrible. Like fucked up my whole shit, man. Straight up. Cos cable has failed me. Terribly. Hold on, I gotta figure out a place to put this phone. So that I can see what's up. So I'm not. I, I gotta make sure that everything good. You know, on all firing on all cylinders. You did. All right, we good. Yeah, I couldn't stream like I wanted to yesterday, man. I tried. I was streaming off of my hotspot because this weather, these hurricanes that we've been going through, been having fucking all my shit looking stupid, bro. Shit really had me salty. So, the music that y'all might be hearing, I don't even know if y'all can hear it, but the music y'all hearing in the background, if you can hear it, that is my latest works. You can find this on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, pretty much anything. It's called Volume 4, Neath 1111. Matter of fact, I'll type it in the chat so you can look it up. baby that is the name of this jam okay okay but yeah you know <sighs> try try to, I try I really did I did like maybe a good 10 minutes of streaming and that shit dropped every frame bro it was so laggy it was just terrible y'all seen the video if you watched it you seen how fucking terrible that shit was I was so fucking mad, but then it like it it dawned on me like, yo, you need to take a break because you a hard working ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I started my company, and I've been really, really putting my heart and soul into creating good content for y'all. Like, 
instrumentals, the next the next batch of instrumentals I'm putting out. Also the um the magazine that I'm working on is finally finished. And then you got the um got the magazine, the the uh, the tape, and then also the album which I'm working on now actually uh, started going deep into it today now remember i recorded this demo so all i'm doing is just touching up these songs which i've i've done that already all i have to do is just record the shit make sure the mix is good and then eventually i'm gonna master it and put it out and it's free but this is my last free album everything else you gotta you're gonna either have to pay for it or you're gonna have to stream it off of a streaming platform so uh if you want to listen to this tape for free, you can on Bandcamp. I think you can listen to it, but you can only listen to it once. And after that, you'll have to pay $1,000 to hear it. Because these beats are actually for sale as beats to use for recording songs with. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy, man. The fact that I'm on here today just shows y'all how much I care about y'all. And how potent the information that I have today for y'all is. And I'm going to keep this basic. I'm going to let the symbolism do the work for me. Now, if y'all look at this slideshow next to my face, these are the symbols that came to me last night and all the way up until this morning. Plus, I had some pretty prophetic dreams, you know, prophecies of my own life. Not, I don't know if it's the lives of anybody else. Well, people that were in the dreams, it was a prophecy to their lives as well. And the funny thing is I've never met these people before. So when I finally do meet them or if I remember who their faces are or if they come back to me tonight in my next, the next part of the dream. Cause when I was younger, I used to have parts of a dream. Like it was a TV show, bro. It'd be like season one, Lord X's dreams. She used to really be lit. I used to be excited to go to sleep just to see the next episode. And I'm talking about the shit was like juicy, man. Drama, sex scenes, the whole, you know, all that shit. It was like a real movie. But these symbols, this symbol here is the Metatron's cube. The next symbol that comes up is going to be the Sri Yantra. Or actually not, the Vesica Pisces, but it also has the Sri Yantra in it. And then after this image, actually it has the uh, the Flower of Life, the Sri Yantra, and the Vesica Pisces. This is That's a strong ass symbol. I don't know why it's not showing the Sri Yantra though. That's weird. But I guess it's because there's it's already inside of the Vesica Pisces. So these symbols will help you to heal yourself. Set your positive intentions on these symbols. Oh, there you go. Sri Yantra right there with the car, with the cross. Or uh, um, the swastika. And I know a uh, homeboy that killed all them Jewish people is like hated. So they hate that symbol, but that symbol is actually the, the universe. Like, that symbol is the the goddess Nephthys. And I'm pretty sure I talked about Nephthys on the gangbang stream. While well, I was talking about uh, uh, Sabdet, which is the uh, personification, the god, the goddess personification of the star Sirius, which is the star that our entire solar system goes around. That is like the center of our galaxy, is uh, the Sirius star system. So, as you can see already, like, shit's about to get saucy real quick. So, let me let me call my brain real quick. Cause shit about to get real. So, last night, I got this message about myself. Now... Okay, let me see how I can how I can break this down. So I have a sister named Tefne. And there's there was our our uh spiritual etheric father, which his name is Atum. And from Atum uh was Noon or Sophia is what the Gnostics call her. And Gnostic is basically like the crown. The crown chakra or uh cross is the crown chakra also like christ crown chakra christ consciousness is crown chakra so anything pertaining to christ or christos or any of that uh uh anything based on jesus christ 
Jesus is shoe. I'm going to just be real with y'all. Jesus is shoe. Uh, Christ is cross or uh, grease or ether. And the crown chakra receives the information from the ether, right? And we talked about this before. Now, this is kind of like a follow-up to the uh, the stream I did about the Taurus field. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to try to make this as basic as possible because etymology is like, I don't really care about that. I know like people worry about like the basis of words and where they come from, but that's irrelevant to this point because we're doing things off of feeling and intuition from spirit coming in and letting us know what's real and what's not. So y'all take this information and y'all run with it. Now, crown chakra or Christ consciousness or the means to connect with Christ consciousness is through the ether realm, which is the fifth element. I don't know if y'all remember that movie with, uh, what's that man's name? Ball headed motherfucker, Bruce Willis. The fifth element. The fifth element is ether. So you got the main, the fire, water, air, earth. And then you got ether. Now, ether is where all the information is stored. Like all the questions and answers of since the beginning of time is stored in ether. It's basically like a cloud for information. That's where the Akashic record, when people be like, I'm accessing the earth's history. The earth has a Taurus field, right? Talked about this before. The earth got a Taurus field. You have a Taurus field. Your lower chakras go back to the Taurus field. And your higher chakras go to the next dimension. So actually when you die, your heart remains on earth, which is trippy. But only because it's like a code. It sent, it's like a signal. So if you wanted... Okay, so if y'all ever heard of Thoth or Hermes which I talked about him in the stream before. Thoth is, he's the one that tricked the watchers or the nine, which is the numbers that watch our reality or that control our reality or the mathematic principles of reality. But they call the watchers also. Now, Thoth broke out of the cycle. When you, when you don't learn your lesson, you keep coming back here. And you keep your energy keeps reliving here and you become a player again and again unless you choose to come back here like most people who are light workers now chose to come back here in this time because this is the time of the the great change and most most of the people who are back here as light workers chose to be here because the great change is the main reason that they're here because they're like, I want to be here when this change happens, where people go back, when they go from the Kali Yuga into the Age of Enlightenment. And I'm not going to explain too much what Kali Yuga is. We'll just say that there's ages that the, that or cycles, there's cycles that the world goes through. And I don't know if y'all paid attention in history class, but in his story, there was an age called the Dark Ages. And then... There was an age of enlightenment, and then there was like the uh, industrial era. Like, y'all remember this shit, man. Y'all remember this shit. So, look at the Kali Yuga as like an era. It's just, uh, Kali Yuga is a Hindu, uh, like a Hindi, a Hindi uh, phrase. So, just think of it as an age. That's all. Nothing too deep. So, right now, we're going through that that uh, transition, and the light workers on this planet are involved and evolving because of this tr uh, transition. So, the information from the ether, because we're in the ether, and then your heart stored on this planet, because most of us have either lived before or uh, most of us are newcomers to this planet because we were just only in the etheric realm or in different dimensions 
and we decided to be here as human beings during the great transition or the great change now i just wanted to let y'all know about the chakras how three going or yeah the heart chakra and the lower chakras go to the earth and throat um ajna and crown go to the next dimension depending on if you learned your lesson or you complete your dharma and dharma i know y'all have heard of karma dharma is like your soul mission or your like life purpose so if you complete your dharma then you will continue to uh elevate as a spirit through the next realms so man okay so this is the part that i was like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to explain this on because like I tell y'all in every stream, I, I like to explain things on a hair level on the skin. I don't even like going deeper than the skin. I don't even like touching the skin. I'm touching the hairs on the skin. So basically, like I was saying, the swastika is the goddess Nephthys. This is, she was, when, when chaos ensued and noon, the primordial waters gave way to Atum, which is the word or vibration. And then, uh, well, first there was noon, ma'at, atum, and then shu, and then tefnit. Now, shu and tefnit are the masculine, divine masculine, and the divine feminine principles of atum. See, atum was one being, right? So atum said, I want to be able to look into my eyes in both in both ways. I want to look into my eyes as the divine masculine and divine feminine. So Shu and Tefnit were created. But these are also, like I said before, alchemical principles in the creation of our reality because the five elements are what create our reality. Now, think about it like this, how I just said it. You got zero, which is noon, one, which would be Atum. Ma'at is the balance of noon. So we just count uh, my eye as noon, but that's that. See how th they tried to tell you through uh, religion now that uh, chaos didn't balance itself. But if my eye is a goddess and noon is a goddess, and then after my eye came a tomb, which was the word, the universe balanced itself out. So you got zero. We just count. Remember, we count my at as zero. She's just noon balance. She she brought the balance principle so that Nephthys could uh, ensue in a symbol. Now, just you know, that's just that's a little extra shit. If you want to go deeper, you can look that up yourself. But you got zero, then you got one, Atum, then you got two, Shu and Tefnit, and then you got three. Shu, Geb, and uh, Newt. Uh, now, damn, I wish I had a picture of this. Okay, so Newt is the, the starry sky. And then you had Shu holding up Newt. And then you had Geb laying under uh, Shu's feet, right? Now, I already said one, zero, one, two, right? But if I already said Shu and Tefnit, and then there's Newt, Geb, and then the third principle. This third principle is the unspoken name of Shu. But Shu is also the uh, also personified as Ra. And Ra is considered to be the sun god, right? But if there was a... Uh, now... The third, the the three, right? So one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. So the middle finger is the name of God, <laughs> which is unutterable. But if it was said, and when I was in those times, and just, you know, you could just let that just go over your head. But when I was in those times, to know the hidden name of Shu, the other name of Shu, was to know God's actual name. Now, <laughs> this information came to me last night because first, 
Well, I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> but <laughs> two, knowing this this third property opened up a new door for me and my process and my journey because now this name I I can come up with it, right? I come up with that name. But that's a thing. Everybody can come up with that name. And on top of that, it's just like binary. You got zero and you got one. I remember a cat asked me, he said, he said, well, first I was out in on the block and I was on Instagram at the same time. And there was this guy who followed me on Instagram and dude is pretty like, when I see crazy people, I see people who are tapped into, they're tapped into like the spiritual realm completely. And the only way they stay grounded is by doing like normal ass people stuff, like eating food, drinking water and getting on Instagram. <laughs> but this guy was like on Instagram, like in the spiritual realm, completely like swimming in it without being aware of the like world around him, except for to get weed and to get food and water and get on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. So this guy hits me up and he says, because first off, my name on Instagram is Shu or Lord Shu X now. But um, in the beginning, when I first started my journey as Lord Shu X, in the beginning, it was I was just Shu. So he sees my name and he's like, oh, well, let me test you. And I'm like, bro, you know how many people test me? on social media i'm like first off i'm only on social media to connect with y'all i'm trying to connect with y'all and y'all trying me to be what kind of shit is that bro y'all notice that like in spiritual community people be like egos be crazy bro they be like oh you ain't really who you say you are um i'm like bro if people want to resonate or align with a certain type of energy man you shouldn't be trying to like test their knowledge and shit like you supposed to be helping guide people what the fuck is wrong with people, man? But you know me, man. I'm the actual. I'm that nigga. So it's not like I'm just on here playing a persona, like most people do on fucking social media. They just be trying to be like fake ass famous people on Instagram and shit, like uh, renting Rolls voices and shit, so they can take pictures next to them. Like, come on, bro. I'm be out in the trees, bro, taking pictures out in the fucking forest and shit. Like, I'm not trying to be no fucking. Like, come on, bro. And the people who find me on Instagram, they don't never... It only be them dipshit motherfuckers that be trying me like that anyway. But usually the people who find me on IG that are spiritually connected, and it's always women, bro. They don't never... They don't never bat an eye. They be like, oh my God, you really are shoot. Like, I don't have to sit here and, like, explain my life story and what I remember and shit. Like, they already... They be resonating already with the shit. And it's not that I'm trying, I'm not even shooting no more, bro. Like, that was like, that was, that's a part of me. It's always going to be a part of me because that's what, that's my nickname. That's what people call me is shoot. They either call me Lord or they call me shoot. My real first name is Lord, not shoot. That's my fucking middle name. That's my family name. Honestly, I chose shoot as a family name. Like how you have a last name, shoot is my last name. X is a name that I have to use because the government requires you to have a last name where you put your last name. And X was on the end of my government last name. So I just took the X and got rid of the code because I don't I don't want my slave name anymore. So I don't resonate with that name like that. Not to mention the name itself is a name for the position that uh, that my family members were. So. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's a lot of shit that I could tell you about my family that resonates with that name. Like, my grandmother's nickname was Rooster. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit passes through your DNA. And if you know my real last name, then you would know what I'm talking about. So, shit like that just resonates to me sometimes when I think about shit like that. And it just makes me laugh. Because I'm just like, man, if I don't resonate with something, I don't have to... I don't have to keep using that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I decide what I want to keep and use. 
So I came up with my family name. I didn't come up with it. It's my family name. But the name in the order that it's in, I did come up with that. <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, dude asked me what one plus one was, right? Now, most spiritual people, I, I give the answer three all the time because of that very thing that I just told y'all. You got zero, one, two, three. And that's as far as I'm going into that. I'm not finna fucking sit here and just go on a bigger rant about that. But then there's four, five, and it keeps going. And when you get to the levels, like it's it's literally like they're set up. The alchemical principles set up reality like that. Zero, one, two. And I'm just like, wow, man. That shit is amazing. Like y'all just gotta understand, like. Though that zero, one, two, three, four, five literally is how everything came to be. So, I, and this is numbers, y'all. That's why I'm saying the watchers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The watchers is literally the alchemical principles of reality, the mathematics of reality. And, and that, that middle finger is the, is the name of, the name of the, the the one that unites us all together, the energy that unites us all together, that that middle finger is the name. Like once you figure out that name, and it's there, it there's an actual ancient word for it. I'm not gonna say it because y'all gotta tap in, man. I'm not finna sit here and tell y'all the secrets because. That's it's so it's certain shit that you know, and I'm all about telling the occult because occult means hidden. That means someone's hiding it from you. See, I'm all about releasing the occult information because it used to be a time you would have to go to certain places and you would have to basically almost die to get this information. Fuck that. We trying to be in the age of enlightenment, right? We in the age of Aquarius, right? So it's not about what we believe and what we feel no more like the Pisces. It's about the Aquarius. It's what we know. We already know this because it's already, it's in our fucking DNA and blood. But now we awaken into that shit. Just like last night, I was awakening into that shit. Just recently, in the past day or two, I 100% surrendered put myself in a positive thought today, right? Yesterday, right? Even though shit fucked up on me yesterday, I still was like, you know what? This just universe, like, you just need to take a break. And I slept my fucking ass off. I took naps. Like, shit I don't normally do because I'm always just on go. So I gave myself a break. And I was commended for it. Like, things that I'm working hard toward are... They're manifesting. My reality is manifesting right now. Y'all are in it. So if you here with me, rocking with your boy, thank you. Much love to everybody who watch these streams because y'all are a part of this manifesting reality. Okay? Welcome to Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord X. <laughs> Lord Shoe X. For those who's like, what the fuck? I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And you watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. My Instagram is shoelovesrebels, LLC, as well as my Facebook page. Y'all hit them shits up. I stay on that bitch. I check it pretty regularly. Facebook, I don't be super heavy on there, even though I check it every other day, if not every day. <laughs> Instagram, I pretty much am on there at least once a day. Nothing. I'm not, I'm on there every day, but I'm not on there as much as I used to be. I, that's why I'm glad I got rid of that other Instagram account. Like, it was taking time away from my life and from my shit that I was working on. So, fuck with your boy. I appreciate everybody who, for real, I appreciate y'all for watching these streams. Please share, share. And if you are watching and you just now get into this stream and you don't have a Twitch, but you watch it from the outside, make a Twitch, man. Please, make a Twitch account. Add your boy on there. Turn on your notifications. 
when I go live so you'll know that I'm on here speaking that real shit, okay? Now, tomorrow I'm going to stream twice. So I'm just letting y'all know that I'm streaming twice tomorrow because Saturday I'm going to see my aunt and my cousin and her mom. All right, they actually flew all the way here from a different country during the flam, the, the slam, clam demic, flam, slam demic to probably not see me personally, but they let me know that they wanted to see me because the last time I seen my prima was I was a young nigga. I had to be like high school, maybe even younger than that. Maybe actually I haven't seen him since before I moved to Germany. So I was a young ass motherfucker, bro. So yeah, I know she want to see me because we always talk about spirituality and shit. You know, we the healers, we the, we the woo people in our family. So we always staying in touch talking about shit like that. And you know, I just got to keep my head on straight. So she, she do that for me. And then her mom's, you know, they're getting up there in age. So I want to definitely see them before um, before too long. You know, we got to connect with family. That's I'm about connecting with family. That's that's my shit. That's what keeps me from going off the deep end, honestly. Because these people are literally like, these are the people from the side of my family that the reason my spirituality is like, nah, I'm capping. Both sides of my family pretty spiritual, man. Like, my mom's side of the family, they from the land. So they're, well, they're from this land. They're Native Americans, which is why I look the way I do. And my uh, my father's side of the family is from Senegal, which is West Africa. But they moved to the islands. And after they left the islands, they moved to Panama, which is in Central America. So, you know, I look very native because... I'm Lord Shuet. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, you know, just connecting with family, seeing them on Saturday. So I'm going to stream twice tomorrow. I'll probably stream in the morning. I'm going to do a Grand Rising stream, and then I'll probably do a 6 o'clock, you know, the normal time. Which is going to suck because tomorrow I got to record some more songs after... I, I want to say probably around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So i probably do like four hours of record. Well three and a half hours of recording like I did today and then I'll be on here with my peoples because y'all know I love y'all man but yeah I don't know I probably get up early for this first stream I probably stream like as soon as I get up take a shower you know brush my dirty ass gums and hop up on this bitch so I can say hey I might do it ain't it might not be an hour long Shit, I might need to do an hour-long stream to make up for the fucking bullshit ass stream yesterday. That shit, fuck. I'm still mad about that shit, man. Cause I had some potent ass shit to talk about, and I don't even remember what the fuck it was. But it's cool. We on to better things, man. This stream today already was potent, and I just like broke down some shit that was pretty awesome. But see, in the one, two, three, right? They don't they don't put Shu's name in there, cause Shu was already in the two. He's the masculine principle, right? Masculine, feminine principle. But Shu is androgynous, which is why I can't wait to put my book out because that's one of my rules is to be a great leader, you have to be androgynous. You can't be super macho, Randy Savage, and you can't be super bitch mode. Like, oh my God, hurting my feelings all the time. Like, to be a good leader, you have to be the perfect balance. You have to be my aunt to be the perfect leader. So, I just take it back to Neith. And Neith is the name of this, this tape that y'all listening to. Neith 1111. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see how I connected all that shit? So, Neith is the original personification of the earth. But she was also the warrior goddess. She was a warrior. She, uh, she used to shoot arrows. And she was fire with the shit, bro. She could shoot an arrow from hell into heaven and kill angels. I'm just playing. I just made that up off the top of my head. But it sounded cool, right? <laughs> but she was a beast. Neith is the personification of the Taurus field, y'all. You got Geb, right? Geb is the... He's the, the masculine aspect. So he's the logical aspect of the earth. The hard... You know what I'm saying? The, the 
the shit that you can physically see. That's what Gab was. Beneath was the feminine nature of the planet or the Taurus feel, the feeling, the heartbeat. Okay? Which is why I named it Take That. Making a wish on your heart. What will you manifest today? <laughs> what will you manifest today? Because that's how you manifest is through the Taurus field. In case you ain't know. When you change what you feel in your heart, you have to really come from the heart space. When you change what you feel from the heart, that Taurus field grid that's around you, and remember, you're taking in information through the, the, the crown chakra, okay? It looks like a cup. Because think about, look, y'all see the picture of the Vesica Pisces, right? Like, the, look at these symbols, y'all, and y'all will understand what I'm telling you on a symbolic level, okay? Look at the symbols, okay? Y'all see the symbols, right? I feel like I don't even really have to say too much else. Like, the symbols explain what I'm explaining. They're doing a better job explaining it than I am. You know what I'm saying? Like... Yantras, mandalas. Matter of fact, let me type this in the chat so y'all understand from where I'm at. Mandalas, yantras. These symbols are literally what makes up the dimension that you see around you. There, this is what the beginning of it looks like. This is what it looks like when the Big Bang took place. These symbols, that's why when people trip, they can see the makeup of reality as is. They see these symbols. They see these symbols. That's why these symbols are popular. That's why scientists working so hard using sound waves to create energy. Because they know that's what that's what Tesla, uh, Nikola Tesla, did. He used sound to create energy because he knows that there's free energy, aka the fifth element. There's free energy all around us, and it doesn't take a fucking genius to tap into it because you're literally it. Look at the Taurus field. That's the energy. If the planet has a Taurus field, right? Right? And you got a Taurus feel, right? And that, that free energy is what taps us in to the history of the planet. So does that not mean that you automatically are already connected to it? Because you have a Taurus feel? Because y'all are one in the same? So you got the, you got Neith, which is the feminine aspect of Geb. And you got Geb, which is the uh, masculine aspect of the earth. Geb is the earth, Neith is the earth. Okay? Now, most of the goddesses in the Patreon are also depicted as warriors. There's a reason for that, okay? The strongest energy, I would probably say, is feminine energy. Okay, cool. I just had to make sure. It's starting to get dark in this bitch, though. I gotta turn the light on in this hole, man. It's getting dark. This damn hurricane, man, it's coming through like crazy. But it's cool, man. You know, I'm safe. My family's safe. I hope everybody out in the world is safe. For the most part. <laughs> I know some people might be getting swept away right now. I just heard that uh, Haiti's president just got murdered like fuck. And they're finding out the conspirators who killed these this guy. It just always, things like that always make me wonder, like, who's next as far as who's going to be the next president or the next dictator or whatever the fuck. Just like, I don't know if y'all heard about what's going on in Cuba, but these people are being starved like fuck. They being starved in their country. They been getting starved for like over 60 years, 60 plus years. Because y'all know about Castro. Castro is, his family still runs that country. And if you talk shit about the government 
out there in Cuba, you basically like asked out. They basically finna come in your shit and just we come to pick this person up, throw you in the back of the truck, and then they just <laughs> smoking motherfuckers and probably dumping them in a hole somewhere in the jungle. So y'all send positive energy with these symbols to Cuba, to Haiti, pretty much to every everywhere in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? We sending positive energy. We not thinking negative, okay? Fuck that shit. Yeah, it might be happening, and it might be getting, it might be getting covered, but we sending positive information. And right now, the universe has actually aligned some planets and some houses and some signs, because I'm not going to go super deep into that, but the, the planetary alignments right now is fucking crazy, bro. It's basically... I'm going to explain it into a statement like this. You are able to access the internet using your psychic powers right now. Like, straight up. You are able to access the internet. Think about what I'm saying. You're able to access the internet using your psychic powers right now. When you tapping into your psychic power and you trying to do that, when you setting the intention, that's the key word of this week is intention. Okay? Intentions are powerful, y'all. So these symbols... We gonna work together as a team, okay? These symbols is the perfect setup for that. All right? You can access the internet, the cyberspace. Remember, space is really different from space. It's just cyber. That means it was created by man. That means there's two universes. Now, when I told y'all on one of these streams, it's multidimensional at all at the same time, the planetary alignment is helping you realize that and helping you learn how to tap into the new, the, the dimension that's literally people get on every day to do mundane shit, okay? So, now that you you know this and you got these symbols in this stream, y'all can run this stream back on mute and, and zoom in on these symbols if you got to. The symbols are called Metatron's Cube. And I'll type this in there for y'all. Metatron's Cube. Or Merkaba. That's a cup Pisces. Flower of life. Matter of fact, you can look up the tree of life too. And oh yeah. The Sri Yantra. Okay. So these symbols I put in the chat. Y'all fuck y'all fuck with them, okay? We gonna set intentions together. For the people in all these different lands who are our brothers and sisters, our moms, dads, sister, cousin, brothers and sisters, grandmas and grandpas all over the world. Because remember, there's one thing that connects us all. All right. We're all connected to each other. And when we all working together using these symbolisms from our ancient past. And the now, with the information, the alchemical structures that are our exact makeup, we can change this world without lifting a motherfucking finger. I mean, you might have to light a candle in an instant because when you make an offering to the unknown name, which is the next part I'm about to get into, when you make that offering, I'm telling you the shit is instant, bro. And I, I tested this today on my own shit. Because I don't normally make offerings to spirits. Especially not the unnamed one. The one that put us all together for me to even want to get on this live. Like, the fact that you can make this offering and the answers that you seek will come to you. Y'all, I have been in an up and down fucking roller coaster the past... This whole summer has been a fucking roller coaster for me, okay? Hold on, let me 
Let me put this bitch on the charger real quick. Because I swear this shit died while I'm in the middle of this stream. Y'all think Lord X be passionate. Boy, I'm going to spaz the fuck out. All right, so. Damn, I done lost track of where I was talking about. Did I really, though? Okay, so anyways. This energy and making offerings to ancestors, spirit guides, your your God, your your higher self, your angels, whatever. Th that shit works, okay, y'all? And the internet, like I said, cyberspace, use your psychic powers to connect with the cyberspace because these beings are also in cyberspace, okay? Think about what I'm saying, all right? That means the information that they have for you is in cyberspace. So if you want to know specifically what they want, tap in, man. And if you if you are if you are your god, like I am my god, you can come up with your own shit. And it works. <laughs> Easy. Instant. Because you tapping into your actual self. Remember, key word here, self. The first mantra of the Zodiac is Aries, I am. Okay? And I'm gonna keep it mad simple. I'm not, I'm giving y'all the baby, this the baby food. I'm giving y'all the baby food, okay? If y'all want it, if y'all want me to really go deep, y'all gotta give me 50 followers, all right? And I don't care if you gotta fucking tell your grandma to make a damn Twitch, but I ain't going deep. I'm not going super deep until I get 50 followers on here, all right? I'm sorry, y'all, but I need to know that y'all serious about this shit I'm talking about. I need to know that people want to heal the world and themselves, but starting with self first because I am. Okay, I am. You gotta worry about self first before you can change the world. I'm worrying about myself right now by giving this information information away, so it's not just sitting in my head. Cause I can, I now I can just forget the shit. This is what I've been holding back doing for the longest time, though, man. And and. I just want to thank the people who gave me the courage to get on here and just do this simple shit. But y'all know I want to go deeper. But y'all got to give me 50 followers, man. Y'all got to give me 50 followers. <laughs> I want to tell y'all about the, the retort. I really do. I want to go more into that. That's the shit I really want to talk about is the retort. And the pyramids and the... Ooh. Ooh, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to have that stream, bro. And broettes. I'm going to just type it in there so y'all y'all know where I'm at with it right now. This this is the main this is my main thing right now that that I'm on. And I just put it in the chat, okay? I ain't even going to look for the people out there who just just want to go super deep and get into some shit. You can type that shit on Google or whatever and and find out or duckduckgo.com. Find out for yourself, man, because I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not even going to say the damn words. Because <laughs> like I told y'all, y'all want me to really, really get some shit popping, get some metaphysical knowledge in this motherfucker? I need 50 followers off rip. We at six. I need 44 more followers in this motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm going to start dropping videos on this whole, like music videos off my albums, all that shit on here, man. But y'all know I ain't about to be fucking wasting my time. Y'all gonna keep getting this, this surface level shit until I, and the day I see 50 followers, I might drop a goddamn video. I might just make a video and just sit on that bitch till I get 50 followers, man. Straight up. Really, I want 100. But you know, I, I'm a patient man. <laughs> I can deal with 50. Hell, y'all give me 25, man. I'll drop some, I'll drop some shit y'all don't even know about. Shit that I'm just sitting on. But I need people to make that effort. I need people to share these streams. 
I need people to get on their social medias. I need y'all to add this to your link trees, all that shit. Y'all gotta support, man, cause I'm give I'm giving up shit that niggas. You know how many years I done spent studying this shit, meditating. I meditated twice this morning. Twice. That's how I know today has just been the greatest fucking day, bro. But it's because I'm aligning with the real shit. I'm aligning 100% with the real shit. And I'm letting shit that don't matter go. And I'm entrusting that information to, to leave me because I'm leaving it to somebody that's not me. I'm leaving it to the gods and goddesses. It's not my burden, okay? Only burdens I have is the ones I spoke about already. Y'all know how passionate I am about this world and the people in it. Especially women and children. Men, I am a man. So me being on here is leading men. Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the chat, bro. Dang, I'm mad that you like came towards the end. But it's cool, man. Y'all, y'all just make sure that uh that y'all show support to the people in the chat. Show some love to them too. They got Instagrams and stuff. If you got if you got social media, put it in the chat, yo. If you want to get more people to y'all shit, put it in the chat. For real, for real. Like, I want y'all to uh know each other. I want y'all to communicate with each other because the information is this is some potent ass information, okay? But yeah. Y'all check out the shit that I put in the chat today. And I might do a poll next stream about if I should stream twice a day now or if I should just stream once a day still at the same time or if I should change the time. I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. But pretty soon I'll be doing uh, more more creative projects on here. I don't, I don't want to just badger y'all with... Uh, occult knowledge all the time even though people watch it and they're interested in it it seems like shit my views be going up off this shit so it ain't like they just like not watching it but i definitely want to give y'all some other content as well and best believe i got i got more content coming to y'all outside of these um these episodes of lord of perfected work and this shit finna change anyways like what y'all watching right now this is just, I'm giving y'all the beginning stages of the shit that I'm doing because I want to make this channel something that people can literally just leave up all day on their fucking TV and they don't have to go to no other channels. You get the whole shit. You get music, videos, me talking about spiritual shit, me talking about the news. I am your news and I'm, I'm not finna be like the fake news out here. How they be taking it like they'll do an interview with somebody, right? And then they be cutting pieces of the interview out so it make the man sound like he's saying some like fucked up shit like, oh my God, this guy's a terrible person. Like, nah, bro. Like the people I'm interviewing is gonna have the real news for y'all. So, you know, just a little shit. But yeah, I just wanna say thanks to everybody who has watched this episode of the Lord of Perfected Word today. I really appreciate y'all, man. I really do. Um, I just want y'all to know that every time, I don't care how many times I'm going to say it, but I just want to let y'all know that every time, because without without these streams, I just feel kind of purposeless sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And I do a lot of different things, but y'all give me purpose. And y'all watching this stream just lets me know that y'all give a shit about the world, and but y'all really give a shit about yourselves. So... Much love. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to y'all because y'all the ones that's making this shit possible. Every day I get on this bitch. Well, Monday through Saturday, I get on this bitch. And like I said before, I'm not streaming on Saturday. I'm streaming twice tomorrow. So if y'all miss the morning stream, I'm streaming at night. And if you miss the night stream, I'm streaming during the day. So the music you're hearing on this stream is my latest project, Neath 1111. It's on all streaming platforms all over the world. Check it out. Neath 1111. It's in the chat. All the symbols from today's stream that y'all seeing next to my face. Yeah, I, I'm terrible with this shit. It's like a mirror effect. But 
all these uh, symbols in the slideshow. I put all the names of them in the chat so y'all can go download these symbols to your computer, print them out and put them in a frame and put them on your walls in the crib because these are very, very, very spiritually enlightening symbols. Okay? Like this image right here that's up. That's the Vesica Pisces. This is literally the Fibonacci sequence two times, three times. <laughs> so y'all make sure y'all fuck with these symbols because we're gonna manifest a positive world. Okay? We're not we not finna get out here. Like I said, we're not finna boot up and suit up and fucking shoot niggas up. You know what I'm saying? We not doing that. We manifesting using our our Taurus fields. We're manifesting through the Taurus field with the Taurus field. Using our macabre. Did y'all know that in the physical manifestation of this realm? Now you got the light body, right? And I explained in one of my streams that all the colors make white, right? When you in a when you're not in the physical manifestation, but when you're in like a higher dimension, white light is what produces the color white when you have all the color spectrum. But in the physical manifestation, all the lights create darkness. So I'm gonna just leave the stream on that shit. Y'all visit the website, truelovesrebels.com, please. All my uh, all my projects are on there. The latest projects that I have, 1111's notebooks are on there. Tefnetarchive.com is on there. All the jewelry on Tefnet Archive is 50% off. Y'all should go check it out. The whole website, shoelovesrebels.com. Follow me on IG at shoelovesrebels LLC. Facebook page also the same shit. True Loves Rebels LLC. I'm in these hoes, okay? Pretty soon, I'm probably gonna create a Discord server. If y'all can get me, y'all get me 20, if y'all can get me other 20 followers, I'll make a Discord server for us. All right? And basically, a Discord server is a chat for us to be in where y'all can promote y'all shit. We can talk amongst each other. We can do video chats, uh, voice chats amongst each other. Also, um, you know, you can level up on there, create emojis on there. We pretty, me and 1111, we already do that shit on WhatsApp, but I'm trying to create us our own little group where we can have a shit ton of fun, bro. So, let's get it, y'all. It's just a matter of time before we really like, look, it, it started out with zero followers. And we got six right now, so we're we're moving in a good direction. All right, let's see if we can't boost this shit. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm out this bitch. A little bit early too, but I'm still out this bitch. Y'all be cool, man. Y'all stay cool, stay true. Peace. This is the comedic peace.